next guest is or our first guest is Babs Kedini. He's a magician. He's been on the show before. Yeah, and of course, he was doing all sorts with magic. How are you? Good to have you on board. Yeah, thanks for being So me. what's been happening with you? It's been a while we had you, but I mean, what's going on in the world of magic? What have you been up to? Um, I've been up to a lot. I mean, my TV show, my okay. tour and everything. Mm. Trying to bring up more magical acts. Okay. Let's backtrack to, I mean, how you started out as a magician mm -hmm. and the, even the acceptance because you're young and um, this is not something that a lot of young people go into. Why decide to go into magic? Um, or I tricks? Magic. I mean, I chose magic because I had that passion for it. I have the love for magic. I mean, I need to, I was curious like other people too, is magic real or not? Okay. And that's basically the reason why I'm into magic right now. Okay, so how many years now have you been doing this? Um, up to I think three to five years now. Okay. So what 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 what, what's, what is the expression on people's face when you do a trick? Because I know that people are some maybe scared and confused when you tell them you're a magician. What yeah. kind of reaction do you get from people? Okay. Um, I don't tell people I'm a magician until they see the magic. Like I just show you something, then if you feel you you kind of ask me how do I do that? And I tell you I'm a magician. And based on their expression, you get to know that they actually felt the magic. Okay. So what is, because I mean with this, I'm sure there's that, there's supposed to be a plan. I know there are top people in other countries mm -hmm. of the world who make a living out of this. They have shows. Yeah. Yeah. And so is that your plan? Are you planning okay. to be a world class or there's something yeah. else? Yeah. Part would... of my plan was to be like um, one of the best in the world. So currently I'm one of the best in Africa and in Nigeria. Nice. And I'm still the youngest. So, and yeah, my plan is to actually have a world tour, the magic all around the countries and you know representing Nigeria. And okay. Then you haven't really given us like a background to how this thing started. How did it start? Okay, how did it start? Oh, you can't remember how it started? No, I can remember but it's in a funny way because I was in class that day and there was this guy who was my senior colleague. So he came to our department and he was doing some card tricks. So I saw what he was doing and for some reason I reached out to him and we talked about it. Then the next day I did mine in class which blew my classmates' mind and you know the reaction made me feel like yo this is what you have to do this is something people go crazy about whenever you do it so i just had to keep doing it so you kept doing it and doing it and doing mm -hmm. it how did you what was that point that you just said okay this is what i want to do okay it has always been a childhood dream it's not about me oh, okay so this is something you always wanted to do when i was like five years old or so okay so i mean do you make money from this yeah definitely Wow, like good money, people pay. <laughs> okay, I don't know, I don't know what your definition of good <laughs> money, but I feel yeah, people pay good enough. Okay, okay. So, are you still in school? You're done with school? Yeah, I studied computer engineering. I'm done with my national diploma. So, are you going to be still doing magic? Or are you going to work? What is your plan? Uh, my plan is actually, you know, what's about magic is we infuse what we know to magic. You can infuse your science, your computer engineering, and everything to, uh, to magic. So um, I'm a big fan of robots, so I'll still go into robotic engineering very soon. <laughs> so how do you deal with the reaction of people, especially when you're in a site like Nigeria where people are a bit uh, superstitious? Mm -hmm. So we not see you're a magician, they think you're doing jazz. So when you do something, they say, hey, it's jazz. Well, if you feel it's jazz, it's still part of the cruise. I'll accept it like that. But it's not jazz. I don't have any supernatural power. It's just me doing my thing. Okay. I think that even if I ask you more questions, I'm eager to... I think you're going to play a trick. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So I want you to do something first before we still go back to the line of questions. Let's just see what you can do from your, from your trick. So you want to play a trick on me? Yeah, I would love to do a card trick on you. Then after that, I'll get back to mind reading or something. Sorry. As a magician, we keep a lot of cards in our pockets. Yeah, one, two. I kind of have two cards here, so I will try with this first one. I don't know why Nigerians don't like card tricks. They feel it's normal or something. But trust me, card tricks are not normal. Okay. Right? So I have cards here. You do me a favor right now. You're going to pick a random card, which I don't want to see. You can show it to the camera. Let's pick a random card, please. From here? Anywhere you want, anywhere you want, anywhere you want. I don't want to see it, please. Just show the camera and... I should show the camera? Yeah, and keep that as, as a secret to yourself. Once you're done, place your card down back. You done? So put your card back here. 
I'm going to give them a quick mix and everybody's going to see this. As you can see, all the cards are all different, right? So I'm going to try something funny. I'm going to pick the card on top right here, the Joker. Can you guys see the Joker, right? I place the Joker down here. Yeah? You know why we have Jokers in our deck? Why? Because they are clowns. Mm -hmm. And they have the ability to change their face, their image, or something like that. So we believe that Joker will actually change your card. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But this was not your card. Actually. That's not my card. Okay. Um, for the first time, can you tell me what card you picked? I picked a um, heart. Was it a heart or? Yeah, I dropped the heart here. Okay. Check. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm sorry. That what did you do now? Speed. It's special. It was a spade I picked. So how did you do that? Ooh. Am I supposed to tell you that? But I saw a joker. Did you? I saw there was a joker I you put. A joker, a joker is like a clown that can change his face and image. It just changed itself to that card. Oh my God. Which you picked. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know what to say. <laughs> so, can you do another one? Okay, um, one more. Um, I was going to read your mind earlier on, and you know what? Well, you have a favorite food, right? Yes. Which, I don't know, is anybody aware of that yet? Um, I don't know if they know. Okay, good, good. Thank you, they don't know. So I'm going to try and actually... Have you told me about this before? Never. Okay, I'm going to try and read your mind. Hmm. No, he wants to read my mind. Okay. Do I see... You, 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 sound, you look like someone who likes um, local food. No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's local food. I'm just saying... But... Um, it might be local food, it might be international food. I don't know. I don't know which category this falls under. Okay. But your favorite food, um, start with a P, right? Am I correct? P? Mm. I, I can see that in your face. It's P, right? Like a P something. Really? I mean, it's not pineapple. It's not a fruit. Um, keep thinking of that food. Imagine you have the food in your hand right now. If you get to eat that food, you're actually going to use a fork, not a spoon, right? Mm, no. Okay, I think your favorite food is like um, pasta. Am I correct? Am I correct? <laughs> I don't know what to say. How did you guess that? That's actually my favorite food. Pasta, P.S. I thought pasta and spaghetti are the same thing. Wow, boy, it's spaghetti actually, but it's also called pasta. Okay, cool. Wow. All right. Okay. This is incredible. Yeah. So, I mean, this almost, this feels like magic. Mm -hmm. So, how do you read people's mind? Like, you just read my mind now. And I, I did not tell you. Yeah, you didn't tell me, but as a magician, we find a way to extort um, how? words from people. How do you find a way? <laughs> okay, we'll give you one more try. Mind reading, one more try. Okay, but yes, we need to... use your phone. Okay. Can I have your phone? Can yeah. you open your phone? Yeah, I'm going to unlock it now. And... So I'm going to go to Google. Is your Safari working? No, this is Google. Sorry. Okay, the Chrome. So I'm going to try something one more time, and I'm going to read your mind. But this time, I want you to think of your favorite celebrity. Okay. If you don't, if you don't have any, let me know now. Nigeria I or abroad? Anyone you like. Hmm, any of your there's a lot of celebrities I like. Let's maybe do something. just think of one. It could be a female celebrity that I don't know about. Uh, this quick. Um, abroad? Don't say it out, please. Just keep it in your mind. Once you're done, let me know. I'm not. Nobody's in my mind, though. Oh my god! <laughs> Just think of somebody like a celebrity, like you really wish to see right now. Okay, I thought of someone. You have somebody. This is my. This is your phone right here, and I'm going to search for that person on Google and drop your phone down here. Now, there's no one I could have known who you're thinking of, but I feel like no. Can you just give me an it? Is it a male or a female? Hmm? Male or female? Female. Okay, female. Okay, I'm just going to type that right here. And. Okay, I'm done. Would you actually believe I searched for who you were thinking of? There's no way you would know who I'm thinking of. Okay. Um, disclaimation I just want people to know I'm not using Google Voice or anything right here. I'm just, I've done my research already. For the first time, can you tell me who you were thinking of? I can't tell you because you will know. No, no, I've done my research already. That's why your phone is down there. I'm not going to okay. touch your phone again. Okay. Who were you thinking of? 
I should tell you. Yeah, say it. If you let everybody hear Oprah that. Winfrey. Huh? Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey. Yes. And there's no way you could have known you're thinking of Oprah Winfrey. So I need to search it. Hold on. No, I, I searched of it already. Okay. Would you have believed I searched for it? There's no way you would have, because I didn't tell you. Okay, pick up your phone right now and see what I searched for. Okay. Can I see that? Can, can everybody see that? that yeah, even though the phone? name is not correct completely, but yeah, you got okay. it. Yeah. I'm correct, right? Yes. Okay, man. I, I don't, I, this is it. <laughs> This is, this is, this is really... I was close, guys. Mm. The name was not that correct, but I was close. Yeah, you were very close. Yeah. You, I've never heard of that before. I'm just joking, but I just had to like, think, think of, of it. Think of it. Wow, that's, that's so amazing. This yeah. is so amazing. Okay, let me ask you this question. Now, you were given an award recently. Yes. Um, is, is that to give you credit for the magic you do or, or what? Um, I feel, yeah, it's, um, the award is based on the fact that I placed Africa or Nigeria on the map of magic. I think everyone there was someone unique in one way or the other. We all had our uniqueness and what we do, which makes us extraordinary from every other person outside there. So I think that was what that word was for. Okay. Oh my God. So I'm sure that after the show, there are going to be people who are waiting for you to play because what you did here is just amazing. Because mm -hmm. I didn't think, I did not tell you, and I don't know how you're able to search for yeah. it. Mm -hmm. I don't even know how you did that one. Okay, but it's really been fun having your time. is yeah. unfortunately very short, but it's been fun. So, any last words from you? Um, um, all I have to say is Nigerians should love magic and accept magic as a form of new entertainment. I mean, that magic is a new big thing, so they should enjoy it. Can you make people disappear? On stage. Wow. It's a stage act. I mean... We need to bring you back again so that we'll have a box here and you'll, uh, okay. you'll probably make me disappear. That would be so good. For that. It'd be so good, you know? All right. <laughs> We definitely need money to to do that. But this is where we, you know, wrap up the show. Thank you so much, Babs Kedini, for coming on the show. Mm -hmm. And um, it's birthday. So if it's your birthday today, wish you a happy birthday. And this is um, Kujimio Ayodeji Olubumi. The Lord will be with you always. Blessings and his grace will be with you. That is from Moses Umana. It's a pretty, pretty wonderful to know you. Added another year. That is to Ayodeji Olubumi. Enjoy your days from Mosi Zumana. And please, if it's your birthday today and we haven't celebrated yet, there's someone's birthday today here that works that I cannot remember the person. But happy birthday. Okay, uh, Lekon, happy birthday to you. I don't know whose birthday it is again. Uh, happy birthday to you. So this is where we wrap up the show. But our word for today is um, when 99% of people doubt your idea, you're either gravely wrong or about to make history. That's from Skodelsky. When 99% of people doubt your idea, you're either gravely wrong or about to make history. I think I identify with that. When you have an idea, 99% of the times, either you're about to make history or you're wrong. Right? Yeah, that's true. That's, that's true. Thank you so much, Babs Gardini. I can't wait to... I need you to play another, another trick. Because what you did here, I wish people could see clearly. It was just really mind-blowing. Thank you so much for coming on the show. And yeah, on this note, this is where we wrap up the show. We'll see you guys tomorrow for a throwback Thursday edition of Silver Bear today. Please have a great day ahead. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.